In part 1 of Security Topology Explorer series, we have learned how to set up stack up information, identify supply nets and assign components classes. In this video, we will see how to extract topology from Security Aurora 17.4 to Topology Explorer and how to assign IBIS models to FPGA controller. So let's get started. In the first step, we'll open same board file from part 1 or you can download it from the description and open it. And then we'll go for setting up topology extraction. For that go to setup and click on constraints, electrical constraint. And this will open constraint manager. Now we'll go to tools in constraint manager and click on options. And here we will see couple of options. Let's talk about electrical CSET extraction. If extract for simulation checkbox is selected, then flow in the topology explorer will set for the simulation. And if option is not selected, then topology will be allowed for constraint assignment only, not for the simulation. Similarly, the next option is include routed interconnect. If we have selected include routed interconnects, then it will include the lossy transmission line from the routed interconnects. But in our case, we haven't routed any connection between the components. So it will take the Manhattan length between the components and put those as a lossless transmission line in our topology explorer. So we will go with this setting and click on OK. Now in the next step, we're going to extract a bit of parallel data bus. For that, you have to again go to net routing and select the wiring option. And here you have to select the net of parallel data zero. Then after selecting the net, you have to right click here and select top explorer. And here you will see a message, which is just to verify all unassigned models are replaced with default one. So please check before simulating the topology. So in our case, we're going to assign all the models in a topology explorer 17.4. So we'll just click over no. The topology is created in topology explorer 17.4. So as you can see in this topology, we have U7, which is a FPGA controller and it is connected through a Manhattan connection to a pull-up register and DIMM module connector, which is XEU2. So if you double click over any of these components, you will see their property and you can edit their characteristic impedance and time delay, etc. Now in the next step, I'm just going to assign IBIS model to U7. For that, you have to select it. You have to click over this IBIS file box. And then from this browse menu, you have to select the IBIS model. And you can download it from the description. And from here, you have to select Statrix 2 IBIS model and open it. Now here you have to verify you have selected the correct single ended pin that we're going to simulate. And that is D6 in our case. Now we can click over OK and IBIS model is assigned. At last, we are going to save the topology. To do that, you have to just click over the save button. It will be automatically created and saved inside the same folder where you have board file. So that's it for this video. In the next part, we will add DRAM IO model and other component required to make topology more realistic. We'll also add a stimulus parameter and run the simulation for transient analysis. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.